Okay, guys, I was just talking <clears throat> to, well, one of my subscribers who has become a dear friend. Um, I have met with him several times, and he did uh, ayahuasca with me. Now, I did ayahuasca, and I've got videos on that. You can look it up. And it was an intense uh, thing for me because of what I was asking for. Uh, from the experience it was very intense very hard work but that's because I asked for probably the opposite of what you guys want well my subscriber slash friend he went to the other side he went where I went when I died and he I think he's done it three times now and uh, he was in pretty desperate situation when I first met him I mean he was uh, well flat out he was suicidal and I mean very very close uh, which generally does not upset me. I don't blame anybody for wanting to leave here, but you know, I try to I Try to support people and So He went to the other side and got exactly what he needed and came back With an understanding of what this game is about it makes it a lot easier when you're really really struggling to see how this whole situation is is put together now, when you go to the, and he has told me, kind of, <laughs> told me firmly, but nicely, because he's a very nice guy, that I take this for granted, that because I go there whenever I want, whenever things are getting pretty bad here, I just disappear, and I do, I really do, I, I totally disappear, I go to the other side whenever I want to, generally. And I don't give you guys enough videos, I think, on what that experience is like. I take it for granted a lot. And one of the things, oh, there's several things he brought up. And I was going to name this video, um, How to Die. But I'm pretty sure YouTube would have, like, put a lock on it or something. Or flagged me for, you know, trying to tell people to kill themselves or something, which I'm not doing. But what I do want you to do is, first of all, I want to talk about dying. How do you die? I want you all to know how to die. Now, I know it is a very tall order. It really is. But I want you to really start to try to stop fearing death. That I have died, and I want to assure you that it was wonderful. That the pain that your body is feeling in the process of dying, when you get close to death, it is gone. And it's gone f way before you actually die. You actually leave the body. Uh, you start leaving the body. It's a process. And in that process, the pain goes away first. So, even before I left my body, the pain was gone. I don't think I've ever told anybody that in a video. But it was. And... Uh, I remember the pain being gone and thinking, now, isn't that odd that the pain is gone? And it was, I was, un I was unconscious at the time, according to medical uh, belief systems, but I wasn't unconscious in reality because you can't be unconscious because you're consciousness. So I remember thinking, wow, that feels good. And that gave some relief in the moment. So that I didn't struggle. Whenever you leave the body, you're leaving a very resistant place. This, At the time I died, I was in the third dimension, not the fourth dimension. So it was even more of a struggle to disconnect from that human body that has a lot of resistance in it. So you have to kind of untangle your consciousness from this deeply dense, fractaled um, reality. Okay, so it started with cutting off the pain of the body, which when your body's in pain, anybody who's had intense pain for any kind of period of time, that's all you think about. That's all you can, you can't even take a step. You can't think about paying bills or, or you can't think of anything else when you're in intense pain. That's all you think about. And that is based on fear, of course. Pain is fear. Fear is pain. So you have to disconnect from that. So there's an automatic like cutoff of that, that pain. Now, this is good information if you have someone dying too. But you will eventually 
probably die unless you go to 5D. Then you'll just leave. And nobody calls it dying in 5D. Nobody, no, nobody calls it dying. It's only in the lower dimensions do we use that term. Because it's a really effective way to scare people, keep them in fear, lower the, the dimensions, and keep gods forgetting who they are. So really, really effective. So anyway, so I remember the pain being gone. And then there is this kind of fuzziness, I would say, as you move out of the body. There's kind of this automatic pilot, and you know to trust it. You don't know what it's doing, but you know that everything is going to be okay. And there's you're still worried at this point. But you instinctually, in your gut, <laughs> even though you're disconnecting from your gut, you instinctually know that this is the right thing to do. Uh, you just instinctually do. So you follow this fuzzy moment, and then after the fuzzy moment, you have this kind of a pop. It's kind of a pop. It, I mean, it's, it's very much like popping out of something. And in that pop, you expand. And you expand bigger than you can possibly imagine. And in that is like the deepest breath of ease and relief and oh my Gaia. I've changed OMG to oh my Gaia instead of oh my God. Oh my Gaia. A relief. I, I can't. What are the words? What other words can I use for you guys to explain the utter and complete relief of that moment? That was my favorite moment of dying, by the way. It was that moment when I disconnected completely and there was that pop and I came out of completely the body, disconnected from the body. It was just such a huge relief. It was just, the relief is what I remember. Oops, sorry. The relief is what I remember. Oh, okay. Hello. We're eye to eye. <laughs> oh. My eyelash is falling off. Okay. Sorry. This is not high tech here. I'm not a beauty queen playing with eyelashes. Anyway, back to the point at hand. So there's this huge relief. Now, possibly, maybe my relief was more than the average person because I'm an energy being. But I don't know. My friend had, he talked about the same thing. So I think it might be for everybody. So there was this huge relief. In that moment, you do have a choice in that moment. There's always a choice. And for people who are deeply entrenched in the game, you can search for something that will give you peace. You'll get, you'll get the relief, and then there's, there is a sense of where am I? Or confusion you don't have your total knowledge back yet usually um, you're still addicted to the thinking game you're still in the belief systems that the game really put into you embedded in you so a lot of people tend to follow those and they don't come out of it and you're in complete control at all times so if you want to hold on to those belief systems that you're supposed to see a light or talk to grandma or talk to Jesus or whatever. That is exactly what you will do. Okay? It's totally up to you. Totally up to you. And then if you believe that um, your family needs you and you got to come back, then you'll get a message that tells you to come back. Now, people will absolutely believe that something outside of themselves made them come back. I've heard that from other people explaining NDEs to me. But the truth is, that's not the truth. <laughs> the truth is that that person felt like that they needed to come back for whatever reason. And so they told themselves, via somebody else or something else, that they had to come back. And so they come back. But that is... That's all up to you. That's all up to you. In reality, your family will do just fine without you. You're not indispensable. Sorry, you're not. They will survive. Uh, they will have a different experience without you. But they're gods. They know what they're doing. They'll be just fine. Uh, it's a game. <laughs> it's a movie. It's a game. Uh, they'll be just fine. Uh, 
Y'all will have a great laugh on the other side. But nonetheless, that's where you get to. And a lot of NDE people are in this process. They're in this area. Okay? Now, for me, um, I remember the relief so much that relief and then that pop was the big thing for me. And I remember thinking, wow, what is this? And what else is there? That's what I thought. There was no great enlightenment before I died. There was seven months of hell before I died and years of even worse hell or about the same kind of hell decades before that. So there, there was no time for me to like meditate or become deeply entrenched in, you know, new age or any kind of religion. I did not. I was raised fundamentalist Christian by a hellfire and brimstone preacher. You don't get any further away from the truth than that. And I was a huge, huge, huge straight-A student. I was massively into math and science. Massively. Big, big brain person. Loved intellectual stuff. Again, the combination of those two things could not take me any further away from the truth, guys. It really couldn't. So if you think that you've got to be this deep, dark, you know, meditative guru to get to the other side, you're wrong. It's just, it's just not true. All you got to remember is don't be afraid when you die. Just relax. Just relax. It is fun. There is nothing to fear. Nothing to fear. That's all propaganda. Everything about fearing death is hardcore propaganda to keep you in amnesia, to keep you here. Because if you don't, if you don't fear death, people would be flying off this planet and the game would be over. They had to come up with something. And fearing death is a great way to keep people here. Does that make sense? Don't you see the logic in that? Don't you see the, the beauty and the genius in that? I mean, it's pure genius. But for those of you who are not there anymore, I'm talking to you. I'm not trying to blow up anybody's game. They're not, shouldn't be listening to my videos. This is for people who are doing something else or coming out of the game. Okay? So what I did was I went, okay, what else is there? If I can this quick have relief and pop out and have this this awesome feeling, what else is out here? I didn't wasn't the least bit interested in anything that was from this planet. Uh, because I knew, because I am a school person, a science person, a math person, I knew that what had just happened to me, oh, and 25 years a nurse, I knew that what had just happened to me had not been identified by anything, anyone on this planet. So if they didn't know about this, that it just happened to me, then what else did they not know about? So my intense curiosity kicked in, and I went flying. And that's when I saw all the crazy things that I saw. And aside from the stuff that the people dying, talking to Jehovah and, and Satan, and and stepping outside of time space into now time. Let's go past all of that outside the game, way outside the game, into the other side. When I turned around and looked back at the game, what I saw was energy. That's all I saw. Now, you guys know this, and I, I think I, way, 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 way back then, way back at the beginning of videos, I put a link to a guy named Greg Braden, I think, down and suggested you guys follow him. Now, this guy is about as close as they come to a guy. So, um, I, I'm more emotional. I'm a female. Comes with the territory. Even though I'm pretty ice cold <laughs> female, I only have like five emotions. But still, I'm a female. And this guy's a guy. So, he tends to talk in scientific terms. He's a scientist. So he can tell you, I mean, I will put a link below to the one that I found and watched last night that I love, 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 love. Now what happened was decades ago, they figured out quantum physics. And when I died, I came back and I went, okay, that's how quantum physics work. I understood it instantly. And I went, now everybody will know. 
They'll know how things work. But that's not what happened. What happened is uh, the scientists say, okay, here's an atom, and we now know that an atom is waves. It's not a, a solid thing. And these waves move, and they can affect them with m magnetic uh, fields, and they can change these atoms, and they can move them back and forth through time. And they know all this. But where they've got the, the cutoff point is, they'll take one atom and they'll play with it <laughs> in a in a <laughs> in a lab and they'll say, Oh, look what the atom can do. We can make it do this and this and it can affect change. Magnetics one, one way, what's the other way? There's two ways they can affect change with it. anyway, I'll put the video down below. And <laughs> and they'll say, Okay, Here's an atom, and it can be affected this way, and it's energy, and it's, it's waves, and it can move back through time and space. But that has nothing to do with a human. And I'm going, what? How can that not have anything to do with a human? A human is made up of atoms, right? Anyway, okay, I'm going to continue on this because this is going to be a longer video. Because if you watch the video below, that I'll put below, he's going to come to a place where he is going to show you a picture of the chakras, right? And y'all have heard me talk about go through your high heart, right? Don't mess with the chakras, collapse the chakras, go with a high heart, follow your feelings and intent, okay? And intent will follow intent, belief, um, your feelings, those will all make things happen, okay? So he's talking about all this stuff and he shows his chakra thing and he goes, okay, now these, the higher... He's explaining feelings, I think. And he says, okay, your higher chakras, that's intent. Your lower chakras, those are emotions. And they come together in your heart, which has the electric, electrical impulse. And that electrical impulse will feed the um, uh, feelings that are created when you put the intellect and the emotions together creates feelings. Feelings with that belief system create the intent and it'll be triggered by the electricity from your heart in other words do you see collapse the chakras into the high heart you get what you want i, I found that fascinating absolutely fascinating i said see here science will tell you what i've been telling you all along okay now back to me being on the other side as I said, now I just went over that everything we know, the scientists know, that everything is made up of atoms. These atoms are waves of energy that are affected by something and, oh, electrical impulses and magnetic fields. Electricity and, mag and magnetics. This is how you make them move back and forth. Well, anyway, that's what they believe. We're not going to argue with them on that. Let them have it. Intent, really, it's consciousness, but they can't find consciousness. They can't identify it. So the consciousness is what is affecting those electrical fields and the magnetic fields that are really making things happen. But let them have the magnetic and the electric. That's close enough for me. Okay. Now when you die and back up and you're all the way outside the game and you're a great, big, great, big, huge energy of God that you are, you turn around and you look at this game and you can see all of it just like you look at a picture on a wall. You can see all of it at once. And you see all of the, you're not affected by any of the senses of the human. You don't identify things through eyes, ears, nose, touch. You don't, you don't do that. You're outside of the human body. So you turn around and you see all of it as the pure energy that it truly is. And what you see is the most fascinatingly intricate creation energetic creation ever made period now as much as you struggle and as much as you see this planet struggling as much as you look at the history that game that is played down here is kind of like the weaving of an intricate tapestry and this weaving as the humans, as the gods, are in human form, setting on these planets within this game, are taking that energy and they're weaving it in the most intricate, fascinating ways. Okay? Without this, 
weaving in this most intricate ways that requires requires gods to be in human form and to d fractal down into the densities that's what makes it intricate that's what makes these energies fractal down and make such an intricate energetic design that never stops it never stops you think it does but it doesn't it never stops this energy is always moving it's always being controlled by something and all of these this energy that is being moved around by this contrast in other words these difficulties these struggles it goes deeper into the density farther and farther away from the god that you are and that that intricacy down into the fractal nature of all that is creates this phenomenal pattern that is unbelievable so let me describe to you what the game is like and i mean the whole game the whole big shebang bigger than you can possibly imagine this is every star in the sky every galaxy that you don't know about and every dimension that you're unaware of all within this game that has been built and created over longer amount of time than you can comp comprehend it's been going on okay so all of this is being created on this big massive scale and you can go into this at any level you want and come out at any level you want but when you look at it from outside the game it is beautiful but when you're sitting on this planet in the third dimension struggling looking around at all the horrible things that are going on it looks absolutely stupid why in the world would gods do this if you can become it's all about perspective guys i cannot tell you that enough i cannot tell you that enough another one of my subscribers who has become a very dear friend is struggling as well and uh we have a safe word because she'll start ramping and I just now instead of talking her down I just have a safe word and I send it to her and it snaps her right out of it because she'll start getting caught up in the game and start doubting herself start tearing herself down and I mean she can spiral fast okay that's what I mean whenever I say stay out of the game watch if you want to watch watch but watch from an understanding a perspective and understanding that they are gods everyone on this everyone everything is run by a consciousness of a god they know what they're doing and we're all tied together we know what we're doing and if you could just try to and this isn't that hard okay seriously anybody that's listening to me 1400 people do you have direct access to change anything in the government of the united states directly right now not next year not next month not next week not tomorrow right this second can you affect immediate change right now well, of course you can't can you change anything immediately right now to make peace on the planet all the way around the planet well, of course you can so let it go let it go if you want to do anything uh, you can practice intending that you're on a completely peaceful planet but you know what that does it leaves these people alone it moves you to a timeline where there are consciousnesses that agree with peace on the planet and you leave the people who want to be in contrast who have created controversy and despair they've done this on purpose now they don't know that because it would ruin the game they they don't know that if i say to them you've created this horrible life for yourself on purpose they would be very very angry and they have been but it's the truth nobody's created a worse life than i did and i take complete and full responsibility for it i know where it started i know why that's cool it's cool everything that goes wrong in my life i take full responsibility for i mess it up 
and but you know what the cool thing is I can fix it but if they don't want to fix it if they don't want to know the gods they are leave them alone I don't care if it's your best friend if it's your soulmate well you've chosen a strange soulmate if it's your mate uh, and it bothers you uh, say goodbye one of the worst things that I see people do is they just stay in relationships because, well, the relationship has been there for a long time and I don't want to be alone. So you're miserable rather than going out and finding somebody that makes you happy. You know what my relationships are? When I started this video, this is the extent of my relationships. Got rid of all of them except my daughter, who is unfailingly looks at me like I am a god no matter what I've done. She looks at me like I am the best female on the planet. It's really good to have somebody like that in your life. I'm very lucky. And then I was very, very close to ex number two, who was probably one of the most horrific people in my life. Now, why did I do that? That's it. That's all that's in my life. Over the last three years, four years, maybe five years, why did I do that? Because I have my support system, and then I have the worst person in my life, so I can practice. And he's over there. So I can walk over and practice creating, walking over to having a better version of him in my life. So every time I get triggered, and then I get the bad version, I can fix it and go back and forth. By the time I leave here, I will be an expert at that. Expert at that. Is it worth it? Not having anybody else in my life, it sure as heck is to me. What you do is your business, none of my business. But it works for me. Why? Because people scare the living daylights out of me. Because they have tried to destroy me my whole life. i got to get over that. Because that is what? Fear. And what does fear do? Keeps me out of 5D. Is that acceptable to me? Absolutely not. So I have to fix it. People have been my worst problem my whole life. So I have to fix that. Why? People are part of Gaia. So it's not that I'm asking you to do anything I'm not doing myself. Okay? If they're in your life and they're destroying you, lose them. If your job is destroying you, change it. If the town you're in is bad for you, leave it. You've got to decide what's more important. You're going to stay miserable and keep complaining to me and everybody else, or you change it. It's up to you. It's up to you. Okay, back to death and dying. <laughs> okay, so now I'm on the other side, way outside the game, turn around, and I'm watching this. Now, my subscriber says that I don't talk to y'all enough what it's like on the other side. Y'all want to know about the other games. Well, the other games are cooler than shit. I've done videos on it. But the feeling that you have over there, and I have described a sexual assessment, but let's just use ecstasy because that's what he used and I like the word. It is an ecstatic feeling all the time never changes never changes that is the normal state outside of this game it's it's a normal state with most going into most other games too it is the normal state that we are in is pure ecstasy all the time now when you go from 3d through everything that i described to the other side and hit ecstasy um well it is unbelievable feeling unbelievable feeling in that moment when I hit ecstasy I understood why the conscious gods come and do this game why because it is like not seeing the Sun for 10 years and then coming out of a hole in the ground and seeing the Sun for the first time multiply that by one quadrillion because where you are right now is so different from the ecstasy that you feel as the being that you really are, that the difference, the contrast in that is incredibly addictive. <laughs> so I can see why these beings go from ecstasy to pure despair. Ecstasy to pure despair. 
because the contrast is incredible. Plus, they really like what they're creating because it's never been done. It is like so cool. It is absolutely the coolest thing ever. Now, the games that you go play are simplistic compared to this game. Very simplistic. Very magical, very flowing, very much like air and water and music. And they're just different versions of that. But this game is something completely different. The contrast, the difference in this creation is absolutely phenomenal. Now, does that mean that I want to come back and play? No. But I understand why they do. And guys, that is the key. For those of you who are starseeds, who know that you don't belong here, that none of this makes sense, that it will never make sense to you, that deep down inside there's nothing about you that makes you want to overcome, that if you go into deep despair and you do something right and you come out on the top and you're going, you don't go, dun, 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 I did it, because that's what they do. Uh, I've overcome lots of stuff and I don't do that. I just go, really? If you're one of those people, this isn't your game. Leave them alone. You're doing something else. You're doing something else. You're working for Gaia. You did not come here to spend a lot of time being concerned about what your skin suit is doing. Let it be. Let it flow. Let it relax. Be as hap happier and happier and happier. You can do that. You can walk through now moment to now moment looking for something that will make you a little bit happier in the moment. You can do that. I do it. You can do it. You can refocus every day because you will lose it. You can go back and refocus every day and keep at it until you leave. In the meantime, standing on the planet is your job. The rest of it doesn't matter. Stop asking me. Okay, you can ask me. I'll try to tell you. But it's all energetic work. I've had five groups so far that I brought together that simply by saying, I'll be a part of the group, I was able to take that energy. You know that energy in that atoms that I was talking about that's flowing through your body? How many atoms are in your body? Just by saying, okay, they allowed me to take that energy that was in their body, tweak it with a couple of questions on what energy that they were going to be around, and tie it together into a vortex of energy that did tremendous, tremendous assistance to Gaia. These people are awesome because it does affect their day-to-day -day life because it drains massive energy from them. And they did a beautiful job. And those vortexes are in place, although it shouldn't affect them anymore, I hope. <laughs> and those vortexes have been tied to other vortexes who have been tied to other vortexes that have helped Gaia tremendously. Tremendously. You're doing work with that kind of stuff, whether you know it or not. And it is so far outside of what humans understand that it's hard for me to explain to you other than you're going to have to trust yourself. You came here for a reason. If it feels like you don't belong, you're here. Well, you had to have come here for some reason. Trust yourself. Kind of the frustration that I have is with a lot of people, they continue. I tell them, stop thinking. But they continue to want to know why, how, what. Now, I'll continue to answer those questions, but all of what I'm doing is trying to get you to stop asking those questions. To trust yourself that you are doing what you are meant to do. You can't not. It's impossible for you to not do what you were meant to do. It's impossible. There's no such thing as time. It's impossible for you to mess it up. Impossible. But you can make it a little bit easier. Happier and happier. Happier and happier. Happier and happier. Okay? I don't know that I've covered everything on this, guys. But I'm going to stop here. Uh, I love you guys very, very much. And uh, comment below. And my friend that uh, gave me this text, let me know how I did on this video. And I mean, be honest. If I need to talk more about something else, you let me know. Thank you for uh, supporting me, guys. PayPal sessions. It's really, really fun to talk to you guys. I really appreciate the support. 
in every way. Every dollar matters to me so, so much. It means that you care. It really does. Uh, I love you guys very much. Huge hugs, and I'll see you later. Bye now.